What is up guys, Swedish Seeking here, and I'm back with another video, and it, today it's a haul video from a sci-fi convention. Yes, the 20th anniversary of Sci-Fi World uh, has come to an end, because this is like the, well, the Sci-Fi World is like in spring and fall, so it's fall now, so it's usually where it is, but it's a bit earlier this year, which is actually kind of surprising, because it, normally it is in October, but it's September. So yeah, the next one, like, it's the last for me, because like, I live in the southern part of Sweden, and it's basically in Helsingborg and Malmö, which is the only two places I can go. The others are Stockholm and Gothenburg that they have it, and I can't go to those places, no, no. So the next one is going to be in Goth, uh, not Gothenburg, Stockholm. So in Stockholm, it's going to be the last one for them, and in Helsingborg, it was the last time for me. So yeah, and um, yeah, uh, today we have a little bit of a haul video of what I have bought, and uh, we'll start off with two things. Um, the first two is basically drinks, and I I don't really know what these drinks are, but um, they are some sort of carbonated soft drink, and it's melon flavor. I I like stuff that has like melon flavor. It, it is good. I like that. But um, I've, I've never seen these drinks before. I don't know if they're good or uh, not. But uh, yeah. I um, hope they're good. Next is... Pocky. I've tasted one. Yeah, I have. But um, you can actually give these away. Because like there's a little message here. They can like, write, Dear blah 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 from blah 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 blah. So yeah. Also a... Um, QR code, and this is basically in Japanese, but hey, I can't read Japanese, but it says in English here, and English down here. So yeah, I can even smell the chocolate from the box. I bought a DVD there, which is um, the first time actually I bought a DVD from the Sci-Fi Convention, and it's a movie that I wanted to watch when it was released um, this year, but I didn't have the tickets for it. So, I'm glad it came out on DVD, and <laughs> I hope it's good. It's Warcraft, the beginning. And I really, like, I, I, I've seen the trailers, it is really good. It is really, really good. Um, yeah, like, I am a big Blizzard fan. I play Overwatch, so, like, you people, like, um... Uh, I did, like, a haul video last year when I got the Overwatch game on the Xbox, and I, um... I'm really excited to watch this one because I never watched it, and I will be. Um, uh, I also get to meet a few actors, actually. I get to meet uh, Alan Harris, who is, well, he's not really an actor, he's just a, more of a st stuntman double. But um, yeah, he played Bosk in the Empire Strikes Back movie, in the costume. And I actually asked him if it was, if he got hot in his costume, and he actually said yes because of the, the light and the heat from the lamps, and... I can actually relate if you're wearing sweatpants. And I also met Femi Taylor. And for those who don't know who Femi Taylor is, she played Jabba's Twi'lek slave, Ula. And, um, yeah, she's the green Twi'lek that got eaten by his rancor. And, um, yeah, I, I picked this one. I, 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 I picked this one, and I, like, <laughs> it reminds me of one of those pin-up posters that you see on airplanes, uh, like World War II planes and such. And I can't really write, uh, read um, this kind of like text that she wrote, but she said to Stefan from Femi, Femi Taylor, but I don't know what it says down here, though. Down here, I don't know what it says down here. Like, yeah, I... <laughs> the reason, because I picked this one, it says, Ooh la la, which is just a pun of her name, which is Oula, O-O-L-A, and the pun of the Oula la, French word for, like, excitement. Um, so yeah, actually, she, I met both of them, they're really nice, and I actually got to ask Carl Weathers from Predator and Rocky a question, it was like, if he voiced any other characters than Combat Carl, and which, <coughs> and Combat Carl Jr., <coughs> excuse me, um, he actually did, yeah, I'm kind of surprised, because I, I thought those were the only two characters he voiced, actually. But yeah, um, Carl Weathers, really nice person, like, he's a, he's a really humoristic char uh, uh, character, like the man in, in real life, because 
he's very nice during uh, when uh, when you uh, ask him stuff. And it was actually kind of funny because like the first question that some person asked, everyone just broke out in laughter, even him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I did actually buy some Transformers too. Um, they weren't really easy to find any this, this time. Um, but I did buy um, Combined Wars Shockwave. I never really saw them in the stores here in Sweden, so yeah. And I actually bought my very first Last Night figure. And my, the original f uh, plan was to only have like Barricade and Nitro Suits because they're the only characters I want from the Last Night line. Like, oh my god. Uh, <clears throat> like, I fell in love with Barricade's new, new form. Like, last time we saw him was in Darker Moon and he just got beat up pretty badly. Like, he's that one Decepticon who just refuses to die. But Nitro Suits, he's just a. I just fell in love with the character too because. He's a rare, he's a very rare character of like having personality, because like him and Mohawk were the only new characters introduced in a movie that have personalities. Actually, um, what about um, Berserker, Onslaught, and Redbot? Well, Berserker and mm, Onslaught they mm, got only one line each. But they didn't really have much personality. I mean, Berserker, he couldn't join me. They wouldn't let him out. And Drift um, took his leg and his fat head at the same time. So, yeah, poor him. And, well, Berser um, Dreadbot, he um, got beaten by Grimlock. But, um, yeah, the one I bought is um, Dinobot Slash. And uh, this is actually my fourth Dinobot from the movie line because, like, I have the Age of Extinction, Scorn, Slug, and Grimlock. And he is a stealth warrior. And on the back here, you can, like, see his robot mode. And uh, what kind of animal is he anyway? Like, I, you know, he's a dinosaur, but, like, I don't know what kind of dinosaur he is. Oh, yeah. And up here, you can see Bumblebee and Barricade. I want it. I do have the first movie back here, but I want this one too. <laughs> it's so good. He comes with got a he comes two guns and a beating stick. The last one is actually my favorite on this little haul. It's a bunch of comics actually. IDW to be more precise. And um I need like I like I like need a question here. Like I need a bit of help. Um what kind of IDW is it here? Because like, and is it the Dark Cybertron one? Because like, yeah, I'm just gonna take my phone out a bit. It's this one. So yeah, there's like five issues in here. I don't know which one it is because like, I haven't opened it. But I'm gonna do that later. So yeah guys, this has been Swedish Secrets uh, haul video. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!